South America, for the first time in the history of the entire world, actually matters. So it turns out that a world full of fascism is uh, really different than a world full of communism because fascists really don't give a fuck. So what I mean by that is in the communist world, we saw a whole lot of puppeting happening in those peace deals. And that shit just ain't gonna happen in a video like this. Uh, yeah, all these countries really only care about themselves. Hitler is not gonna give a crap whether France stays fascist or not. They're just gonna annex like their entire nation. And something else I've done a little bit different this time is I've raised the world tension to 100%, which should mean that any country in the world right now can go to war at any point. I'm not exactly sure if that's gonna change anything, but let's just experiment, see what happens. Now, I really like this mod for the most part, but the only problem with it is they totally misspelled Donald Trump here. That, are you even trying? That's not even close. Of course, in Europe, we have our big three fascist leaders with Hitler, Mussolini, and Franco. Whoa, Franco, these numbers are kind of down. Look at that, only 41%. Oh yeah, you're gonna go, oh, that's gonna be a civil war. But like I said, it's not like there's a big ass party taking place right now. Like this is not Stalin in a full on communist world. We also have the emperor of Japan, which I personally don't think I talk enough about, but I'm sure he's gonna enjoy butt fucking China in this video, as he always does. I'll try to show off as many of these fascist names as I can, because uh, obviously when countries go this ideology, they get some pretty badass names. Obviously though, nothing is gonna beat the Thunder Dragon Empire. Because this country is definitely not trying to overcompensate for anything that's extremely small and, and weak, right? Yeah, this stereotypical Asian leader can totally take on like half the world and probably be fine. The Bohemian Empire, that's gotta be a country that not many people see. I mean, usually Hitler completely obliterates Czechoslovakia, so we don't often see their fascist name. Now, this is why I love these videos. So the British just formed a faction with Nazi Germany. And now they're both at war with Mussolini. I mean, I'm sorry, dude, but your time has come. Over the thousands of games Hitler has been forced to ally to you, he he's probably just sick of his bitch ass. You know, something does feel like it's missing, though, without Daddy Stalin. Uh, I'm sorry, you're just... You're just not the same. Well, nonetheless, the Russian Empire is sending volunteer forces to help out Mussolini. You know, that probably ain't gonna help much, though. I mean, you now have, like, two of the strongest countries in this game working together. Oh, wow. Genius decision by the Russian Empire. They joined in. Why are you helping Italy, then? What the fuck is wrong with you? Well, it looks like there's gonna be a real nice, uh, concentration camp right here in Rome because Germany is invading from the north. Hey, I'm just saying, Italy totally did it to themselves. They attacked Ethiopia, and then Ethiopia got a whole bunch of countries to defend them. You know, strangely enough, I really like these borders. These are some pretty sexy borders, Adolf. It looks good. Hey, but Mussolini's still alive. He's just been banished to the island of Sardinia. That sounds just like a, a horrible place to live out the rest of your life. And this is what the European Confederation looks like now. Um, pretty scary force to deal with. Donald Trump, man, you gotta figure something out. You, you know they're coming for you. You know they're coming for you. I will say, if nothing happens for a really long time, I will break up this faction, because uh, I don't think AIs leave factions. You just gotta love that classic shitty paradox AI. Hungary also just joined the European Confederation, and it looks like they are currently penetrating Romania. Oh damn, that's so hot. Oh, that's so hot. So the Czech side of Czechoslovakia has just been annexed by Hitler. I was really hoping for like a badass uh, Slovakian name, but no, we just got this. That's pretty stupid. This could have been like the best fascist name of all time, since you rarely see this country. Hey, yo, look at this shit. Look at this shit. All right, Sweden always up to some shit, right? I think we can all agree. Sweden is technically fascist, but they're not aligned. 75% of their country is not aligned. Only 3% are considered fascists. What kind of shit are you trying to pull, uh, PewDiePie? I've checked just about every other country in the game, and uh, yeah, they're all like fully fascist. So Sweden's doing something. I, I, I don't know what it is. Poland is being invaded. What else is new? I guess the only question is, will they get gangbanged by, uh, well, not Daddy Stalin, but Russian Empire? I guess not, but once again, I mean, Poland still exists just in a really, just weird peace treaty. Still no war in Eastern Asia. It's 1939. I don't know what's going on in this game. Benny Lux is next for Hitler. Uh, I don't think they're gonna last long, but let's see if they form a faction. Oh, it looks like they, they didn't. We have three separate peace deals. They weren't even working together. There might just be some trouble in paradise. That whole Canadian-American alliance isn't holding up so well. What's interesting though is Canada is looking to Hitler for his help. 
So I always knew those Canadians were a bunch of Nazis. I, I could tell. You could tell. I mean, that war might not even break out, but uh, yeah, it would be pretty interesting. I love how even in a fascist world, the Swiss or I guess the Swiss Imperial Confederation still aren't doing anything. Can I get a scenario where Switzerland just becomes like the Mongol Empire and just starts going nuts? Their fascist leader is a doctor. What the hell's going on? Even fascist Switzerland probably still has better health care than the US. He's just like, oh shit, they're raising premiums? Nah, <laughs> we're not, we're not crazy. I just noticed Greater Albania is led by Nicolas Cage. It doesn't get much better than that. And now slowly, one by one, everybody is joining this European Confederation. Oh, including Canada. Including Canada. That was a smart move. Yep, and it looks like they're about to try to invade the US. This is happening. Oh boy, France just formed the French Entente with the uh, Neo-Ottoman Empire support. Let's not forget that France in the previous video had basically their first win ever in Hearts of Iron 4. It's somewhat possible if the US joins, I, I think it might happen. Also, all of China ain't doing shit, so they could help. The world better be afraid. We have Iraq and Romania who's still actually being penetrated by Hungary as we speak, joining this French Entente Alliance. Oh, this is perfect. World War II is going to start in this world because Russia declared war on Iraq. And here it goes. New Persian Empire now joined the French Entente. The Philippines joined the French Entente. Oh, and they also got this little guy. That is exactly what I was hoping for. All right, this is weird though, because it's about a couple months into the war and Russia still hasn't called everybody in. Iraq, on the other hand, has basically begged everybody for their help and it's it's happening. Oh, okay, okay, now here it goes. Okay, everyone is now slowly, jo holy crap. Yep, a lot of messages, I don't even know what's happening. South America is gonna be really interesting. The problem is like some of the major players in Europe might not last long. China, Japan, you guys wanna, I don't know, do something? Please? I love that the only European country that hasn't joined a side is Sweden. There is just as much communism as there is fascism in this country. Unfortunately, it looks like the Middle East is just about to be ripped to shreds. They're... Oh man, this is horrible. France and Spain are still holding strong. I'm sure the Americans are probably helping them a lot. Let's see if this French leader does any better than Charles. Charles of France really... He liked to surrender. I don't know if that's a good tactic, but let's see. Hey, but the US is just jacking all the maple syrup all the mooses, all the horrible hockey games. I give Canada another year and uh, and they'll be done. This to me is actually the most interesting front by far though. South America, for the first time in the history of the entire world, actually matters. I don't think Brazil is going to be able to bully the rest of these Latin countries anymore. Now I'm sure the French Alliance would love to call in Australia. Uh, I don't think the Aussie army has time though, not in between their emu wars. I'm actually fully expecting this capital to fall to the emus at any point. Well, would you look at that? No matter the ideology, France's preferred tactic is surrendering. Yeah, Franco's not gonna have a very good time right now either. First we spawned him into this horrible communist world and now he's getting raped by Hitler. The guy just can't catch a break. I like how Mussolini's still around though. I mean, he's just chilling in Sardinia. He's probably giving just as much help as he did in real World War II. This is, yeah, this is about the power I expected of Italy. Now, come on, guys. Isn't this the way North America should look in reality, right? This looks, this just looks right. I like how France just randomly grabbed this island off the coast of the British Empire. I mean, it's probably all because of US help, but uh, that's nice that this, this guy is still going. Because, yeah, the battle for Europe has been long over. Actually, the Middle Eastern Front is pretty much done. I'm surprised these guys actually lasted a little bit longer, though. So it's been a few months, and uh, clearly it, it really is just the US doing everything. Russia, of course, had a shit ton of casualties. That is no surprise at all. But America's just trying to keep their side together because, uh, yeah, there's not much left. There's a really weird stalemate happening in Africa and South America. I don't know what the hell the AI is doing. And then in Eastern Asia, there's just like nothing happening. Like I still can't believe Japan didn't go after China. I'm still waiting for the US to start like island hopping out here to Europe, but I don't think they're gonna do that. Nonetheless, I think it's clear to say that uh, the European Confederation has won this World War II. Sweden at the last second finally decided to actually be fascist for the first time. And Switzerland decided to not stay neutral, uh, but they do have like the best healthcare in the world, I'm assuming. Finally, Mussolini has a minor task that even he should be able to accomplish. He's just trying to invade Corsica, but by the looks of it, it looks like he's even having a tough time with that. I guess this shouldn't be much of a surprise, but in an all fascist world, we are left with endless war. I mean, hey, I'm not saying that the communist world was better, uh, but they did end their video without 
constant war. So unless you live in Eastern Asia, I think you guys all might want to be commies. It, it, it turns out a little bit better. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.